to go over how to do these type of problems, okay? It is possible you talked a little bit about end behavior in um, Algebra 1. You might not have, and that's okay. Um, sometimes I'll pick up skills here that we had to do in Algebra 1. Sometimes I'll pick up something new, okay? But after all of our domain and range talk for two weeks, we should be okay with dealing with end behavior because it's literally what's happening at the end, okay, of the function, okay? So really quickly read that sentence about end behavior to yourself. I'll give you like 30 seconds. Okay. So the end behavior of a function describes what happens to the f of x values as the x values increase or decrease without bound. So there's a lot of things in there that we need to talk that we need to talk about the understanding of. First of all, when we see f of x values, that's a fancy way to say y. Okay? So f of x and y are interchangeable. All right? We tend to go more towards function notation, the f of x notation, because we're not in middle school anymore, okay? Because everything we tend to work with tend to be functions. So we like to write it in function notation, okay? This whole increase or decrease without bound part, that means there's arrows that keep go. That means things keep going, right? Forever and ever and ever. Keep going forever, okay? That's what increase or decrease without bound means, okay? What number means keep going forever and ever and ever? It means it's going towards infinity, okay? Which we saw with domain and range, okay? This is just another, like, little piece of it, okay? All right, so let's see what happens. Sometimes your n's, your y values go to infinity. Sometimes they level out and go somewhere else. Okay, so they might might just be a, at a horizontal, so they'll you might not see infinity necessarily. Okay, all right. So typically we start towards the left side. So it's saying as x is going to the left, where is y going to? So as x is going this way, what direction is y going? Down. If I'm going down, 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 what number is that? It's negative infinity. Okay. Not a whole lot to it other than that, okay? All right, this is saying x is going to the right, right? It's going towards positive infinity. So as my x moves this way, what direction is my y moving in this picture? Up, 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 towards positive infinity. Okay, let's take a look at example two. I think there's like five of them because these are really quick. Okay. All right. Let's talk about this one. So as my X is moving to the left, so as I'm going this direction with my X, my X values are climbing this way. What's going on with my Y values? Up, 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 up. So what do I write down for that? Infinity. Could I, is it wrong to write the plus sign in front? No. And you might see the plus sign written a little bit more in front. You might not. Okay, so either one of them is correct, either plus or no, no sign at all. Okay, just like we would write any positive number. Okay, as we are going to the right, as we're going towards positive infinity, what's going on with the y? Down, 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 down. What's that mean? Negative infinity. Okay, let's look at example three. Okay. As my x value is moving towards negative infinity or towards the left, that's what this means. So, at, oh, I didn't talk about what that is. Isn't that arrow kind of funky? That arrow is the word approaches. Sorry, I did not write that down with example one. It means approaches. And this really sets us up, that notation sets us up for unit one of calculus next year. Okay. All right. So, as my x value is moving to the left, I'm going. Up, 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 up. What does that mean? Positive infinity, right? Okay. As, this is saying my x value is going towards the positive or toward the right. 
So is my X value is going to the right? Where's my Y value going? Also positive infinity. Okay, I want you to try one on your own. I want you to attempt example four. So everybody try example four. Okay, take 10 seconds, check it with your table partner. <coughs> Okay, let's check. As my, this is saying going to the left. So as I'm going to the left, where's the Y value going? Down towards what number? Negative infinity. As we're moving to the right, where's my Y value going? Down to what number? Negative infinity, okay? I am not going to mess you up and try to swap where these two things are. Does that make sense? Okay, I'm always going to put the left one first and the right one second. Okay, so that, I don't want to mess you up on the quiz. I'm not going to trick you on that. Okay, I just want you to under, I just want to know that you understand where things are going. Okay, example five is a weird one. Okay, so we're going to throw this in there every so often this week to make sure that you understand that they don't always go to infinity. Okay, so as my X value is going to the left, so my X is going this way. Where's the Y value going to? Good job. It's going, it's definitely not going beyond that axis, right? It looks like it's flattening out. So it's going to zero. Okay. All right. What about this direction? As my X value is going towards the positive, where's my Y value going? Positive infinity. Okay. So it sounds like easy peasy lemon squeezy this week, right? So I don't want to spend more than one week on this, you guys. I want this to be get it done this week. So we're going to practice this a little bit every day, and um, hopefully you'll have it before Friday, okay? It's not meant to be hard. It's just meant to be something we need to make sure we have, we've discussed, okay? All right, here's the next thing I need you to do. Google Classroom again and get your notes out. Okay, so Google Classroom and your notes. All right. I'll give you a minute, get your notes out, get Google Classroom. In Google Classroom, I want you to open Unit 1 Learning Log, okay? Yeah, let me, give me a minute to get them going and then I'll get you in, okay? Sorry, I lost it. Okay, so everybody's grabbing this assignment that says Learning Log. Oh, wait, well, hang on a sec. Let me make sure I assigned it the right way. Did I assign it the right way? Each student gets a copy. It's all good. Okay, go ahead and grab it, okay? Go ahead and grab it, okay? Oh, I'm going to turn that off.